Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome to One Man and His Boat. Right guys, these, this equipment here is what we actually used to build the field uh, from the one that you've seen on the bench. Uh, this is the actual main frame, which is from Medley Pots. Uh, our good friend Chris Martin, he supplies them for us. Uh, the length of the creel is 30 inches long, 20 inches wide and 16 inches high made with 10 millimeter uh, mild steel covered in a plastic coat. Next, we have the plastic bottom which goes on to the bottom of the steel frame itself. And once again, that is 20 inches by 30 inches. And it's perfect suit for when you come to rubber. Uh, the, the rubbering is the last in the proceeds of, of the creel building. And that is there to protect the actual bottom of the steel from the seabed. Next, we have the sheeting for the parlour eye which goes in this end of the keel here. Uh, this is basically the nice housing area where the lobsters will sit until the fisherman comes along and picks them from the seabed. Now the eye itself is held together with this ring here which is a six inch plastic ring and it's basically there to help keep the eye open. Uh, also we use these plastic hooks for uh, the door and for the bait bag which is over here. Next we have the actual sheeting for the creel itself. This is the main sheet that goes over the top of the creel. Then we have the parlour wall which is the smallest of the three pieces that you see here. And that goes in at this section. Then we have our end panels which is these two here. And they go on either end at this section. And last but not least, we have the door, which goes on this side of the creel. Uh, for binding the creel, we have a 3.2 fathom of a 10 millimeter rope, which goes round the, the bow of the creel. Each bow gets uh, a wrapping. And then along the top sticks, which is these parts here, is two and a half fathom of 10 millimeter rope. And uh, you've got to tie this pretty tight to the, the frame itself, that way it'll protect it a lot better. To sheet the creel together, we have um, certain types of twine. We've got four millimeter black braided twine, three millimeter black braided twine, four millimeter orange twine, and two and a half millimeter orange twisted. Now the twisted is for the, generally the eye making. The four millimeter black braided is for the outside of the, the um, creel itself. The three millimeter is for tying the eyes up and the bait bags up and then the four millimeter orange is for extra stitching that I do along each side of the top sticks. Now you don't have to do that because it's basically me over building which I always do with things. So uh, it's up to your, your personal preference whether you put extra stitching in or no but I think it helps protect the knots either side of the, the creel where it takes the most rubbing. Next we have the, the implements that we use to actually make the creel. We have the pliers to cut the cable ties that ties the uh, plastic bottom to the, the frame until we get the rubbering done. Then we have the spikes. Now the traditional name of the spikes is called a fid. Don't ask me where that comes from. I think it's uh, Sweden or something like that. Then we have various size of needles. We've got a 10 inch, an 8 inch, a 7 inch and a 5 inch. Each, each one helps put the creel together. Then to get tension onto the um, eye itself, we need to use this bit of piping to gear us a, a right pull, which you'll see uh, later in the video. We need a knife, we need a hot knife, and various size of um, needles itself. As you can see, they're like 10 inches and 5 inches. Then last but not least, 
We've got the bucket for the fuel itself. This attaches to the main rope of the, the fleet of fuels itself, and that's everything that you need to build the fuel guys.